Breathe in through your nose. Slowly out through your mouth. On your own pace, in through your nose. Out through your mouth. We get into trouble and we start thinking about, man, what's going to happen in 10 minutes? What happened an hour ago? So the way you get yourself back to the present is you see what's in front of you. You know what happens when guys stop seeing? Literally, I could be looking at you but thinking about what I'm doing tonight and I don't even see you. You use your eyes. You put your eyes on what you want to focus on and you train yourself to constantly see. You guys with me on that? Does that make sense? Most guys think they have to feel really good to play well. It's not the case. You ever had a great feeling before a game where you felt incredible in layups, everything is going in, you're making every shot, and the game starts and it's just not there. So your feelings mean nothing. It's what the action I'm taking all the time. That's what means something. Does everyone have an idea of what your next play speed might be? Some people's next play speed is like seven weeks. One thing goes wrong, they never get it back. They're gone. Some people's next play speed is seven hours. They go home and they're at the dinner table still like, God, that first shot. Oh, you're like, wow, you're still there. You're still there. And why are we still there? Because there's feelings involved. Because we feel, we feel it. Hey, how many guys do you know, or maybe yourself, walk out in the court, and if you miss your first two shots, you're thinking, man, it's gonna be a tough day. You guys ever had that experience? Where you're like, man, I missed my first, I'm gonna have a tough day. You ever had that experience before? Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan could care less what just happened on the last two shots. The only thing they're focused on is the shot right in front of them. Right in front of them. If Kobe Bryant was, and Michael Jordan were working on avoiding missing shots, if their goal was to not miss shots, they would never be as successful as they are. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan missed their first two shots, they're on to that next shot. Their focus goes on to the third shot where a lot of people's focus stays with the shots they just missed. Does that make sense? So it's important to really understand that everything we do is, is about not avoiding failure. That's not going to be our energy is avoiding failure. Everything we do is going to be going right towards it. So people get hung up on results. They miss their first two shots and they're out. The, guy, the guys that focus on what they actually control build confidence. So here's what we actually control. Right underneath it, this is called play present. Play present. So Aaron Gordon, Aaron Gordon wanted to be the number one player in the country, would call me sick that Jabari Parker was ranked ahead of him, but did not understand what they saw in him they didn't see in Aaron. And I would say, Aaron, you have no control over what anyone else says about you. You can't. You cannot control what they write about you. You cannot control what they say about you. Wherever you are, be there. You practice being present all the time. You go home tonight, you're washing dishes for your family. Usually when we're washing dishes, what do we do with our brain? Think about whatever we're doing later, right? You just kind of check out. Man, check in. Who? Wash the dish. <laughs> Wash the dish. And what happened is the past and the future go away. And all of a sudden you get into what basketball players call the zone. I'm in the zone. Time stopped. I'm in this moment. Anyone can go 0 for 5. You've got to be really good to go 0 for 10. You're a pro if you can go 0 for 15. Because if you can go 0 for 15, all that means is you're not dwelling on the past. You are so locked into the moment at hand. And after the game, the press is going to go, you played terrible today. You say, you know what, the shots just didn't go in. If I could control shots going in and out, wouldn't I have made every single shot I've ever taken my entire life? Most people focus on results and outcomes, and we have no control over results and outcomes. That's why if you miss your first two shots, a lot of guys go, that's, that's terrible. Where if you were focused on your process, you go, hey, that looked good, felt good, my next shot is good. And that's a way to talk to yourself where you don't psych yourself out and say, I'm having one of those days. So Damian Wilkins, 10 years ago, I asked him, I said, what do you tell yourself after you miss shots? You know, I, I'm always curious what you do after you make mistakes. He said, did I say three things? Look good, felt good, and my next shot is good. And he said that to himself so many times, it's natural for him. It is very challenging to be locked into the moment the entire time. Because what's going to happen is all kinds of things are going to happen during the game. Right? Same stuff Marcus Smart was dealing with. You're going to have feelings that hit you. You're going to go for a layup, get fouled, no call. Anyone ever experienced that before? You get fouled and there's no call? What do you feel right away after that? Anger towards the ref. Wham! You feel anger and all your focus wants to go to the ref, right? You can feel it calling you and the game has moved forward. And what you need to be doing is playing defense. So the very first thing we work on is, hey, our goal is simply to be present in the moment and trust your skills. That's the goal. Period. That's it. And then once we do that, you're going to lose your focus all the time. The question becomes, how fast can I get it back? 
Does that make sense? So, you could practice 12 hours, but if we don't learn how to move on to that next play, if we don't learn how to deal with our ROI, it's irrelevant. You're not even gonna use the shot that you're so good at. You're not even gonna use your playmaking abilities because you're over here thinking, I don't wanna make any mistakes, and I'm blue, I don't have it today, I'm cool. And so everyone that thinks they're competitive, this is where you compete. The guy guarding you is never gonna be a problem. That's never gonna be the person who stops you. Ever, ever. I mean, maybe if Kevin Durant came in here, we'd have some problems. ROI, what's your ROI? So after practice, here's how we train. This is how we actually train this. I say, okay, during practice today, I don't care if you make mistakes, I don't care where you are on here. All I care is you get onto that next play under a second, and then your ROI, I want your ROI over 99%. You can actually be perfect at these two things, you can try. That means, hey, I feel a little red, I'm gonna act blue and be cool. I feel scared and passive, I'm gonna keep failing, keep coming. And at the end of practice, you do that the entire time, you have invested in yourself. You have made the right investment, and I'm gonna come invest in you. And I come give you this crisp, green $1 bill. And it's a symbol, it's symbolism, it's green. You feel a little bit of red today? Fine, don't be mad you're red, go with it. You're feeling blue? You're feeling kind of low, it's one of those days you don't feel like working out? That's cool too. Act aggressive. What most people do when they feel blue, they walk around going, I'm so exhausted, I don't wanna to play today, oh my God, how you feeling? And they just like spread this blue everywhere, right? And what I wanna do is, when you guys are blue or red, I should never know, because you should be acting your way towards your groove. That's the competition. You guys with me on that? You think you're competitive? This is when you show it. Competitive is not I made four shots. Let's play D. Competitive is I missed eight shots. Let's play D. That person's intimidating because their focus is solid. So you're always training your focus. It's a trick question, but when do we practice focusing? Anyone have an idea? Focusing. When? When, when do we practice focusing? Right now. It's always, it's always right now.